Hey, good morning, Lecter Records. Dan here. Rainy day. Getting some exercise for the tour in a few days on the fully set up bike, fully loaded. Heading out to Hawthorne, uh, 40 miles from my house and back. Here's the scooter, uh, fully loaded the way I did on the East Coast tour. Worked out pretty good. Come around here for you before this phone stops working in the rain. I got the smaller panniers in the front with most of the weight in the front. And instead of panniers in the back, I have the Sea to Summit bags. Uh, this side is my tent, is the tent. Um, and then over on this side is, the, uh, is my sleeping pad. In the middle is just a seat uh, foam to sit sit down on on a bench, but it also protects the pump. That's where I keep the pump. And then this not so custom but very handy uh, milk carton top that I use. It came in comes in. It's really nice to have for a platform for anything, but you have to watch and don't leave anything on there before you take off on the tour. Uh, same setup on my bars, dual handlebars. I have uh, some like bullhorn drops with uh, dual stems or whatever you call it to hold them. Uh, that's worked perfect. Haven't had to adjust it in, oh, I don't know how many miles, a zillion miles. A whole East Coast tour. Never had to touch them. They worked great. Anyways, that's the ride. I got to get going. It's a little bit wet, as you can tell. Hopefully this video came out okay. All right, guys, later. Okay, it stopped raining, so I'm gonna try to do a, another quick tour in case the other clip didn't work out. So here's the bike, fully loaded. Um, anyways, I'll just go around it real quick. Well, the back, the back bags here, which I have two, are the uh, Sea to Summit, Sea to Summit uh, dry bags. And they work out really good because they don't hardly weigh anything. And then I have them mounted up with a, with a, just a top of a milk crate, which has worked out super nice. And back here, this is the pump with just a, a little pad for sitting picnic table or kneeling down on so you don't get poison oak on your knees um, and a little custom made uh, water bottle cage that mounts to the rack that's worked out really nice Cane Creek Thud Buster the short travel um, of course the bikes a surly ECR heavy but uh, it's worked out great the tires I'm using are uh, the 2.5 inch extra terrestrials. They're awesome. The whole East Coast tour, I, uh, I didn't get a single flat until I got here into Gainesville. And that was my fault that I got that flat. Okay, front, beer, front bags are the small, just the standard classic uh, Ortlieb panniers. Two of those. As you can see down low, I have most of the weight, most of the weight of the bike up front. Works, works out nice for me. Um, I can't pronounce the name of these, uh, these bags here, but there's, there they are. Uh, they worked out really nice. They don't have a lot of pockets or anything like that, but they're waterproof and super light. Um, I like them. I didn't use two before, but I'm trying that out. I think that's gonna work great because they don't absorb any water. That's the thing. Um, is anything you have, you wear, is on the bike, if it absorbs water, it's gonna get really heavy when you're uh, pedaling in the rain like today. So something to be aware of. I found out the hard way 30 years ago on the 
on the um, southern tier route. I made my own panniers and they absorbed water like crazy. Here's another shot of these bars, if you can see. Got, they're dual bars. These are regular Jones bars that came with the bike. But then I set up two stems and I have these drops that are, um, that are just the uh, inexpensive bullhorn, uh, I believe they're called bullhorn um, bars on the, its own separate stem. I can't really shoot that because it's dark here now. Um, but I'm telling you, those two bar, having those drops are so nice. I'm on those drop bars about 95% of the time and uh, I just love them. And then I've got these inexpensive grips. They're a uh, surface. Um, they've worked out great. I have no complaints about those. Um, anyways, that's the rig. I use Trek, Trek lights. I've got these, these two up front. I usually will just run one for half the day, daylights, and then um, I'll switch over to the, this one here, the other one, uh, the last half of the day. They charge super fast. This one is a general, uh, super bright. It's the older style, they have a newer one. And I think it's starting to rain again. They have a newer one, but uh, it's pretty awesome. It's kind of a thing you don't have to have. I got by with just these pretty much the whole the whole East Coast tour for for headlamps, um, and uh, they're they're pretty nice because they charge so fast, and one of them lasts a half a day no problem. And same with the back, I run two of these. I generally just run one uh, for half the day, and the other one for the other half of the day, and it still leaves plenty of charge in them, and um, charge them up at night little battery pack and uh, no problem super fast charge um, that's about it that's the scooter we'll see you in a bit later